In this episode of Bear Podcast, P Town, Texas student charged with murder of teen boyfriend, Dumber Regeneration, a la Star Trek, Pup 411, and Atomic Wedgie Kills a Man. All of these coming up. Stay tuned. Bear Podcast 575. Bigger than the earth, floating through space. Kind of concerns many of us, even gay people. He used to be cute, but that bitch just, she needed to be slight. Strip Cards Against Humanity. And it's Sunday night, did you do the sing along with Sound of Music? One of them is gay, and the other is straight. I'm so gay. Apparently, he became gay. It might be a source of sexually positive pleasure. We worked on it, we had pleasure, that's, that's great. That's is how it's done. Welcome, everyone, to Bear Podcast. I am Nard. And I'm Ray. Welcome to episode 575, and it's July 22, Wednesday, 2015. Yes, and... Where have you been, Nard? I, I know. Sorry, guys. We, there was no show last week. <laughs> I was out of town. I was in Bear Week. I was in Bear Week in Pizza. He was doing the bears at Bear Week. Is what he was doing. I wish. I've only been to the Dick Duck once. Just once. Lie. <laughs> you lie. You lie. I was just walking around looking and get, back and just and happened to wander under a dock. Uh -huh. I was even Monday night even, so was it Sunday? I can't remember. Anyway, as far as I know there were people kneeling. So they were must, praying. Must have been Sunday. <laughs> okay, so uh this time actually uh we got to uh have uh Johnny and Mike here from Houston, our friends Mike and Johnny. Under the dick dock? Yeah, they were there too. Okay, so yeah. I thought. But yeah, we went to, uh, they joined us this time in our trip. We stayed in our house, in our condo. It was fun. And yeah, it, it's, it's, a, it's a fun time. We got to go swim with the bears at P-Town Inn, uh, go to the boat slip, drink a lot, lots of planter's punch. That was good. She and, this, was the DJ, um, he's in the favorite 80s band that she liked, punk rock band that Oh, uh, Bob Mould? Bob Mould, was he there? No, he wasn't. There was no um, blow-off this time. There used to be a blow-off about, about two, three, two or three years ago. I can't remember. But yeah, there was no blow-off this time. So, it was... Just a uh, lot of blowing. Yes, yeah, so just a lot of blowing under the dick dog. So, we were there. Uh, uh, Mike... Uh, no, wait, Dave and Jason were there. So, yeah, they were staying with the, with the uh, four other couples. It's also something like that. In one house on Commercial Street, it's pretty nice. Uh, they we had a break, we had a brunch with them last Wednesday, so that was good. Uh, they had these pigs in a blanket stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, I think either Dave made them or or Jason did. Yeah, they made um, uh, waffles. Jason was quite made waffles and everything. Yeah, it was fun. Um, what else did we do? Oh, we we got to see Leslie Jordan. Ah, that was fun. What was he doing there? Uh, just for entertainment, just one evening, well, two evenings, I think, I can't remember, but it was just for a comedy show for an hour, and he was talking about him having sex with a woman. <laughs> That must have been oh. hilarious. That was hilarious. Yeah, so... Did he see your pussy now? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Did he see your pussy now? <laughs> yeah, so he was even talking about uh, the little man in the, in the canoe. Is that right? Did they say that right? Little man in the boat. What are you talking about? Okay. <laughs> he doesn't know the little man in the boat. But anyway, so that evening, or two, two evenings after, I think. I can't remember. But we were inspired. We watched uh, Sorted Lives mm -hmm. <laughs> online. So I brought my Chromecast. So it was really helpful to have a Chromecast if you don't have a Chromecast. Uh, and then... Yeah, that's pretty much it. We ate lobster. We went to, to Boston. Um, what else did we do? We went to Quincy Market. We went on boat ridings. We saw uh, humpback whales. How many times? We saw it twice. Humpback whales twice. Did you see any bareback whales? Bareback whales. Yeah. Humping whales. <laughs> just so it's just simply just simple humping whales. Okay. And yeah, there was a lot. Uh, actually. We didn't see much. Oh, the sunset cruise. The, the sunset cruise with the with the uh, the booze cruise. The booze cruise on Monday night. That was great, also. And yeah, there's so many things that happened that that last last week. Wow. 
anyway, <laughs> uh, so Mike and I went to Maine, so to meet meet my in-law. So that was fun. I got yeah. to see uh, uh, his dad, mom, and dad, and everything. So that was fun. Well, that's good. Flew back yesterday. We want to watch Ant Man. Did you watch Ant Man? I watched Ant Man this weekend. So it's awesome. Go see it. Go see it. So, what can you say about how are the how are the effects? Is it you know, like... Paul Rudd's about the same age I am, and he's still super fine. Really? Yes. Okay, you mean he's doable? Oh, well, I've always wanted, like, had a crush on Paul Rudd. So, oh, really? Yeah. At some point, he was kind of annoying, but uh, I guess he would be funnier, too. So it's funny and sci-fi-ish? How was it? It's, it's kind of both. I mean, it's a Marvel comic deal, and, you know, and I... And I I was kind of wondering how they're going to handle the Ant-Man character because it's not like a big character in the Marvel Universe. It's more of an Avengers character. Okay. Um, and doing his whole story and stuff and everything. But it's quite interesting the way they handled it. and mm -hmm. Added some more clues. So if you watch the movie, if you didn't stay all the way, there's two Easter eggs in it. Well, not Easter egg, but the little spoiler trailers at the end. There's one right after the credits and then there's one at the very end of the last of the credits where the thing pops up so but it was interesting i liked it i i was good mm -hmm. so okay so i'm uh i'll probably watch that this week or this weekend i don't know we'll see uh, i'm looking forward to it because i heard a lot of uh, good reviews about it so yeah take a note. okay so i wanted uh uh, I wanted to do a shout out to the Asians and Bears community, and it was really fun. We hung out at the at the um, Aqua Bar, you know, where the Chinese food and the the uh, Cajun food and the uh, heroes street eats. There's a part there in the back. There are picnic tables and everything. There's an Aqua Bar, so that's where we were uh, last Friday. Was the meeting at noon? We people ate Chinese food there and everything. Of course, Asians <laughs> eating Chinese food. Um, we went there. It was a lot of fun. It uh, was there got any to meet... sticky rice. There was sticky rice action. For some reason, two of the guys there made out. Two of the Asian guys. Did you get video? There was video. It's actually on the Asians in Bears uh, uh, Facebook page. Have you seen it? No, I missed that one. Okay, so. it's posted by Voltaire, I think. Yeah. Okay. So some of the guys. Um, and uh, okay, here is a picture. If you guys are watching the video, uh, there's a picture here in my back right now. It's going to flash over now. So it's a picture of uh, Jules and Nick. So congratulations, Jules and Nick. They got married there at P-Town. Yay. Got married. Yay. People are getting married. They, who solemnized them? Oh, they hired someone, I think. Yeah, they hired someone. They're, it's it's, it's somebody local. Yeah. They were wearing suits and everything, and they were at the beach. And... Uh, it was fun because it was funny uh, that uh, we only got to meet them two hours earlier than that. Yeah. That that picture, and then hey, let's take a picture with, with these new these uh, these um, grooms. So we were wearing our Asians and Bears T-shirt. Yeah. And these guys were wearing their suits and everything. So. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it was just an accident. Uh, I wish we had known them earlier or online for a long time, but it's just that it was the first time we met them, like two yeah. hours before that. So it's kind of awkward, but. It was fun anyway. They were really uh, nice guys. But Mike's got a big crush on, you know, on the Asian guy. <laughs> it's Pinoy, of course. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, what else happened? Oh, yeah. One of the pictures here, I got to meet uh, Christian and, and uh, what's his name? And uh, uh, George from uh, England. So how Cheerio. often do you see people? Cheerio. <laughs> hey, Cheerio. Yes, that was fun. Okay, so Asians and Bears, <clears throat> uh, you can find them on Facebook. Yeah. And uh, it's great to, I have a video that's coming out this week. Also, shout out to uh, Doug Langway. He was our guest. I have a video that's coming out very soon, too. Also with uh, Wayne Hoffman. He, he presented his book about um, uh, an older man. So we'll have a video within this week also about that, too. So I want him to interview with them. Okay, so moving on. August 1st is a big day. Why is it a big day, Maynard? It's a big day because 10 years ago on August 1st was the first podcast, the pilot episode. You mean 11 up. years ago, right? 10 years. Well, 2005. So 10 years after August 2015, that's 10 years, right? Are you sure that's right? Yeah, I this think so. I had, this, I had this conversation with my sister. 
<laughs> having a 10th anniversary. But anyway, so yeah, uh, 10 years of uh, Bear Podcast. It used to be an audio for so long, and then Ray and I did audio, and then we did video of our own episode. 300. How did we get a 500th episode before we did a 10-year anniversary? It just happens. Numbers are just weird that way, I guess. <laughs> it didn't count that. Yeah, 500. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how. I was thinking we're going into the 11th year. 11th year? No, it's 10th year. 2005 when we started. So, yeah, um, if you guys have voice, you, you can call us and, uh, you know, just tell us what you think. Oh, people who have been loyal, who have been listening to the show, watching to the show, I would really love to hear from you guys who played on We'll play it on the August 1st episode, the anniversary episode. Uh, what else? Just just memories, Ray. What we're going to do on that day, we usually what we do is, is play the top 10, remember? Memories. Top five. Yeah. Probably top five. We'll just probably do the top five just videos of, about since last year. That would be great. Memories. 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 Yeah. Memories, boobs. <laughs> I like your story about the boobs today, but we're not going to talk about that. We can't talk about stuff at work on the podcast. That's right. That's right. Okay, so uh, part of the video right now is um, actually I'm going to show you guys a video of us from uh, from P Town. So at the Dick Dot? No, not oh. didn't take videos at the Dick Dot. So, uh, like I said, Dave and um, uh, Jason, their hosts of their house, Matthew, they had a uh, party there. They, it's a brunch party. Imagine that, bears and brunch. Yes. And there are lots of food, and we brought mimosas. So we brought, you know, champagne and orange juice and everything. So that was good. Um, so have fun. Here's the video. Hi. Hi, Maynard. Hello. Hi, Maynard. It's been a while since the Bear Podcast viewers have seen me. That's right. <laughs> so welcome live at Provincetown Bear Week. I'm Nard. I'm Dave. And I'm, I'm Johnny. <laughs> I'm Mike. And I'm Jason. Yes, and uh, we are here at the Tiki Party. What do you call this again? Tiki? Yeah, Tiki Brunch. Tiki Brunch. Yeah. Hawaiian. Well, we had, we usually, plan. this house is the International House of Bear Cakes. It's and normally, weird. the International House of Bear Cakes has a night party, but we have a smaller house this year, so we decided to do a brunch. So here we are, doing a brunch. And that's Steve. Steve, that's you're Steve. on the podcast. Welcome to us. Hey. Welcome to hey. Steve. You're doing, you're doing the thing. <laughs> yes. Yes. Now you just We're doing the thing. Us. Oh, well, hello. <laughs> so, so we are here. You're not here for the whole week. We're well. We we cut our weekend short up front, and then we're leaving Friday. So most of the week. No. Yeah, we had a wedding to go to. So, Jason, Jason, this is your first you bear week. This is my first bear. Okay. So how do you how do you feel? How do you like it so far? It's good. It's fun. I don't have any time. You should do the whole week because you are here for a short time. Though. Right. We need <laughs> you to show him the dick doc, Maynard. Right. Jason, have you been to the dick doc yet? I have not been to the dick doc. What? What? Of all of the attractions here in p that should have been your first. <laughs> yeah. We need we need Maynard to go through so he can go. Hee -hee -hee -hee. <laughs> 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 Well, yeah. Johnny was under the dick doc the what? other night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it was all whispers. And oh, that's you. right. But that sound. Yeah. You're the, you're, you were the loudest. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody's whispering. I mean, somebody's got to bust a nut here. So. <laughs> Get as loud as you can. <laughs> 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 but that was fun though. It's your first time here too. How do you find it so far? We're having a wonderful time. Great. Okay. Oh, it's fantastic. And our hosts yes. are just amazing. We have the hostess with the most. The hostess with the most <laughs> staying with, with uh, Nard and, and, and Mike. Mike. And Mike. Okay. Is this a four of you guys or is there more? Oh, there's another, uh, there's another guy. guy. Uh, Chris. With okay. the, uh, he's, uh, he's, he has other agenda. Yes. Oh. He's been walking it's around. Appointments. Okay. Appointments. 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 So how many do you have in this house? Um, I don't know. We just kind of... Oh, how many do we have in the house? I thought you said so how many do we have in the house. Staying or... Staying. Yeah. Eleven, yeah. yeah it's 11. I think so. Eleven bears. Yes. Mm -hmm. Eleven bears. Yeah, and I like, think we're all bears. And then right now, there's about 55, at least, invited in this party, right? Yeah, we, so we had about 50 people or 60 people say they were coming, so we have a good amount of those people here. We're on this little area. It's a little bit cooler. It's only about 117 here. Everywhere else, it's 135 or so. 
degrees, so so we're all hot. So underwear and, and open shirts. So how many years have you been coming here? Uh, this is my third uh, province town bear week. Third one. Yeah. So I skipped Ooh, last year, and I went to do two years previous to that. Yeah, <laughs> this, is, this is my eighth. Hi, camera. Wow. Hi, camera. Wow, you've been to cool. almost all of them, then. Yeah, so you're, you're Red's been to ten of them. You're right. recording it on the That's right, and recording yes. here, too, so you could be We're live. You can ask all these questions right when we're off the air, too. That's really cool. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's our friend Rex. Are you okay? Can hi, Rex. Camera? Say hi to the camera, Rex. Yeah, Rex really should be okay. He was a, a North American bear. Uh, the, what was, what's the actual title? Um, Before I mess it up? Mr. North American Mr. Bear. Mr. North American Bear. Oh! 2014. Oh, oh, last year. Oh. So say hi, Mr. American North American Bear 2014. Oh, wow. We have this two. Oh, my God. We have two Mr. North American Bears. Oh, yeah. Where are your sashes? Where are your Worlds are colliding. <laughs> we might have to, like... You might have to get a fire extinguisher. Where was that with that? This one was in DC. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. And it, was yeah. it, did, it wasn't at uh, the San Francisco International Fair. It was at uh, DC. So I don't know if it's a different title. It is. Thing. I'm not sure. It is. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> You have a bear off. Huh? You have a bear off. Yeah. Bear off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Should look her sashes. Yeah. Right? <laughs> sashes, sashes. Okay, so what's the plan for this weekend? Are you guys going to the Farmland's Ball? Oh, you're, that's we a Friday. Can. We're leaving too soon for that, as usual. I've never been to the, I'm a fireman, and I've never been to the Farmland's Ball. So. It's, it's a lot of fun. I know. It's really weird. Right. A lot of dancing, a lot of sweat. Oh, yeah. A lot of sweat everywhere. Out of bears. Mm. Yeah, it's turn like out, a, turn out gear is end. a lot. They <laughs> squeegee the floor. They oh, do, that's really. Oh, like, hey, that's nasty. Really that's nasty. That's, yeah. gross. that's gross. Oh. Just don't slip. Don't Every fall. once in a while, you'll see, like, uh, You're not making me feel like I'm missing anything. <laughs> <laughs> Every now and then, you'll see a bear on the floor. Don't move no, my god, no. there! You'll actually see, like, tufts of hair and maybe a rubber. And oh, no. That's gross. Uh, hey, Jason Bodie. Jason yes. Bodie. Yes. Love you, yes. people. Yes, we are. Yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was live. Right. Yes. Where is Kevin? Hello. Hi, Kevin. 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 Hi, Oh, okay. okay. Are you going to do this key trip again? Out of my shell now. We, did, we did take over <laughs> his bedroom for a while to do it, though. So oh. he's fr he was probably like, okay, I need to go to sleep. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that was all right. I'm, you know, royalty check is great. <laughs> Are you doing that as ski trip next year? I think so. I think right. we're, we're looking at Salt Lake City, probably. Right, so, I might go. Bye, Jason. It was really fun last time. We had a great time. Right. You might want to think about that, too. Uh, Johnny and uh, Mike. Yeah, I don't sleep at skiing in my immediate future. <laughs> no, no. A lot of people didn't ski. We did all kinds of other fun stuff too, though. Oh wow! The cameras. Are yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 We're it's filming. Recording. Recording right Am I like? We're filming. Like, we're filming a bear podcast. Yeah. Technically, okay. it's an underbears podcast too because I'm in my underwear. Oh, you're so. doing a podcast. It's yeah. Maynard's podcast. Nard, Nard and podcast. Ray's podcast. Yes. We're doing theirs at the moment. So, we can mix and match it, whichever. Yeah, right? we can do that. For sure. <laughs> they won't throw a clip of this at ours. So. Okay, so I guess I need to get on drinking right now. We, yes. we don't have drinks. Can we take yeah, questions from I'll the work audience? Audience? Play. Well, There's no callers right now. You want to call her? <laughs> Please call now. 1-800-FEED-BEAR. feed bear. <laughs> Did you have any questions? <laughs> um, <laughs> What has been your best experience? Yeah, you're. Yes, you're that's right. I have to say the whale watching was quite fun. Yeah. Uh, probably saw about 40 whales out there in the water. They were all glowing. Oh, you were on the boat? We were on the yeah. boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all the bears. I can't. The bears are all mistaken. They thought they had to go hump the humpback. <laughs> <laughs> they're trying to stick their penises inside the holes with the boat. The boat holes. They were being like, there's the the bears oral. in the water. It's going to be oral. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. We went on a, on a boat trip yesterday, and I got sick a little. <laughs>
<laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> that one day but not we don't have time no. yeah, no, <laughs> you guys are leaving it's only Wednesday. It's only Wednesday we have to go to the beach no after this we're gonna go to the beach yeah yeah. Uh, Harry Coast, from the yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I, uh, do people get naked at Harry Cove? You're not allowed to. I heard you're not allowed to. What? It's planned to go naked. It's in Harry Cove, but it's also a place called Grace Point. And I'm not kidding. I'm not exaggerating. We literally walked for 45 minutes. Oh, yeah. We did that last year. Like 45 minutes walking through the same and, all and, and you walk out there, and um, they're the Coast Guard are now, the police are not patrolling. So oh, oh. Is it like a slap of the hand? Look, wear something, or they ticket you immediately? Yeah, yeah, let's go. If you don't put something on, they'll take you in. Oh, okay. But, um, but it used to be that there was, it was this oh, it was nudist. Yeah. And so, but one thing that's kind of cool is um, everybody goes out there, you know, you can cuddle and you know that on the beach and you know, looks strange to you in any way. But what's funny, funny is, what's funny is all these bears walking 45 minutes in the sand. They're all walking 45 minutes. They're all like tired by the time you get there. So you see all these bears walking down with blankets and <laughs> Yeah. Well, I think that's what we plan to do at some point today. This is a shortcut. We're gonna go for it. And it's $20 per car. So, like, everybody piles in at one car. Yeah, exactly. And, um... Go to the after you pay the money, go to the left to the parking lot. Don't go to the right, which is like the parking lot on the street, because that fills completely up. Um, so go to the parking lot, and then you just have like a little short walk, maybe like from here to the boat slip. Oh, you are right now. Um, and then you're on the beach. And, uh, okay. So Jason, are you gonna go to the beach sometime this week? Oh, we did the monument the other day. And that's a bit long, long walk all the way up, but it's kind of rewarding. It's not so bad because they had stairs for about a moment, and then they're all ramps now, so it's, it's a lot easier to go up. Instead of, yeah, it's not stairs all the way. Yeah. Okay. Everyone's getting okay. Getting rowdy around here. Anyway, so how long is this party? I don't know. It's going to go like a couple hours, I guess. Yeah, so, like one hour. Oh, okay. Well, okay. So I guess we're going to sign out. Just, well, say goodbye to the camera. Bye. Bye. <laughs> So yeah, Dave and uh, Jason and uh, Mike and Johnny were there, and also Steve from, uh, I guess, I've met Steve for the longest time uh, at um, Drenchfur. He's a very nice guy. Very cute bear, too. Okay, so let's go to entertainment, Ray. Okay, we got a couple things to cover in entertainment this week. It was slacking before, but we, we're kind of picking up now that we're back in the swing of things. Number one thing in entertainment this week. Kit Harrington reportedly arrives in Belfast for a Game of Thrones season six. So if he's dead, how is he going to be there? He's going to either it's all flashbacks or probably the uh, the daughter of the sun, the witch of the sun, whatever she is. Oh, so, Don't you think she's going to revive? Apparently, well, you read the books, or you do? No, I haven't read the books. Oh, okay. So, and this book's not out yet. Really? really season six books not out yet so anyway okay 
Number two, Paternity Leave is an uproarious film about a pregnant gay guy we've needed. What? Directed by Matt Riddlehoover, the tradition... The trailer for Paternity Leave has us eager to see this surely hilarious and poignant soon-to-be-gay staple. And apart from the last, there's lots of man candy to look at. The film's central couple, Jacob York, who's Charlie David, is gorgeous. And the other feature actors include longtime crush Chris Salvatore out of Eating Out franchise. Um, you, we'll put the link to uh, Paternity Leave, but it's about a gay guy getting pregnated. How? Through his ass? Uh, turd babies, I guess. Turd I babies? Know. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Number three. This is a big one, Maynard. Oh, good a big Lord. one. Uh, the studio behind Sharknado franchise why? is developing Dead 7, a zombie western futuristic horror movie that will feature members of the Backstreet Boys <laughs> and in seeker uh. Joy Fatone. Backstreet Boy Nick Carter is pinning the script and will star as a good guy that is going to help save the day. To be a bit more specific, a ragtag band of gunslingers will pull their marksmanship skills to use with a plague, transforms people into mindless zombies. Carter will be joined by fellow backstreeters Harry Doro and A.J. McLean. We can also expect more pipe icons to appear than just members of the two 90s boy bands. <laughs> so, that's coming. Um, Backstreet Boys and NSYNC team up for a zombie western feature movie there. So They're going to have Joey, Fat One. Yes, so right. he's going to be a lot of dinner mm -hmm. for some zombie. So, okay. Number four, Z sent us this one. I Want a Bear by Daddy Bear Music. We're going to put the oh, link on this. Oh, that one. That was actually a oh, pretty yeah. cool video. So. You know what? On the way to P-Town, uh, Johnny was showing me this. It's really hot bear, Daddy Bear. Yeah. And, yeah. I like the backup dancers myself. The backup, yeah, you like the I would imagine you would like the backup dance, dancers. But, yeah, the, but the bear there in the the. the uh, I don't know if I can play that. Can I play that? So maybe it's gonna be commercial. We'll see. Yeah, that's gonna be a commercial. Yeah, you gotta. You'll have to grab the music and stuff. Maybe we can get him on the show and interview him. Yeah, maybe. Contact him through his webpage. So, mm -hmm. okay. And number five, the really big announcement this week. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna play Wait, the music. Oh, hang really on. Really quick. Really quick. If I can play it. Oh no, it didn't play. James Patterson, Mitch Fischel Theater. Wait, your link, the, the link that you gave me is not I Want a Bear. Anyway. It is I Want a Bear. It's just you got to go through the commercials to listen to it. Two commercials? Yes. Okay. Anyway. So, anyway. We'll put the links on the website. You guys okay. can It's a cute it. little commercial. So, anyway. And number five, your prayers have been answered. RuPaul's All-Stars Drag Race 2, Mike. Number two is coming to Logan. Oh, no. Two. Wait yes. a second. There's been a... Uh, all star drag race one already, so this is oh, all two. stars. Okay, that's right. So, so that's the entertainment news I this week. Watch that. Mike watches it, I think that's awesome. Watches it too. It should be wa you should watch it, man. You don't really? know what you're missing. Yes, oh well, it's hilarious. We shall see. Uh, hilarious, Hi, hilarious. So. Okay, so what is this? Well, since we don't have any events to promote this week, I'm putting in a new little section called New Hi, I'm Gay. So because every couple of weeks we get these big blush of people that come out as gay. <laughs> so I thought we'd be the new, our new thing would be, we're hi, I'm out. gay. We're so like this out. week we had NBC's Thomas Roberts becomes the first yes. out evening news anchor on network TV. Thomas Roberts made TV history last week by becoming the first openly gay evening news anchor on network TV. Okay. And then, <clears throat> and then you want to do the high, high school athlete. Okay. So high school athlete inspired to come out by other young gay athletes. Matthew Dills, age 17, he's very young, is a senior at Swan Valley High School in Saginaw, Michigan. He's also on his school's golf and cross-country team. He plans on attending college at the Grand Valley State University or Michigan State University and majoring in biochemistry in hopes of becoming a veterinarian. He plays golf for his high school. He's actually a cute little blonde boy. But um, we'll put the links on the page so you can go actually read these full articles. So. Okay. Former Australian footballer comes out after a long, dark stint in the closet. How long? What, what sport was this? <laughs> He's a footballer in Australia, so I assume rugby or soccer. Rugby. Net rugby, yeah. No one should ever feel like this, reads the accompanying text as the former footballer Lachlan Beaton shares his coming out story to promote the Equal Love campaign to end marriage and inequality in Australia. So. And Next is Sean Conroy, the first active pro baseball player to come out. Wow, baseball. This is interesting. So the 23-year-old 
right-handed pitcher. <laughs> He's a pitcher. <laughs> right. For them, for the for the minor league baseballs, Sonoma uh, Stompers uh, become <laughs> became the first openly gay pro baseball player last month when he publicly came out shortly after pitching a shutout victory on the team's Gay Pride Night. That's awesome. Wow. Mm -hmm. So who has ha who has had a great season so far? So says he was surprised to be the first, and he knows that he'll always be known as a gay player. But, but oh no, sorry. Uh, Maynard did not set everything to yeah, airplane. Yeah, accepting air. Uh, my, yeah, I'll probably uh, call Mike in a minute. So yeah, so yeah, it, we got Sean Conroy. <laughs> yeah. So and that's our new little thing in there this week to fill in is hey, I'm gay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good idea, right? Since coming out as gay is still big news, apparently. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of that with with um, uh, athletes and and of course yeah. actors, uh -huh. actresses, so, probably. You know, until okay. Liberace comes out. Yeah. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's time for the gay, the geek, and the bizarre. Okay. Bizarre. <laughs> the bizarre. <laughs> okay, let's go to the gay. Texas college student charged with murder of teen boyfriend. Tragedy. Tragic. A Texas college student was charged with first-degree murder after he allegedly beat his 19-year-old boyfriend to death early Friday morning after a night, a night of drinking. So Brian Canchola, 20, is accused of beating Stephen Sylvester during a, an intense argument at their apartment in Austin. <gasps> Just in Austin? Oh, my God. Oh, it says Texas. Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't know it was going to be this near. <laughs> it's going to be in Austin. Maybe somebody we know. According to an affidavit obtained by Austin ABC affiliate station Q, uh, KVU, uh, K, KVU this couple's roommate, who was not named, said the two couple woke him up around 8, 4 a.m. after hearing screams and loud noises. The roommate said he heard Canchola allegedly yell at his boyfriend, Why would you cheat on me? Oh, my God. Okay, so the roommate then told the uh, couple, I, I'm not making light of the story. I know it's tragic, guys, okay? <laughs> Wait, uh, I might get some hate mail on this one. So the roommate then told the couple to calm down and said they went back to their room after apologizing to each other. Not long after that, however, the roommate said he heard more thrashing and screaming and heard Sylvester scream, let go, I'm trying to leave. Sylvester's dog, named Harlow, yelped, and the teen yelled, let the dog go. So the roommate made his way into the couple's room where Canchola, a student at St. Mary's University, became aggressive towards him. The roommate also said he saw blood splattered on the wall on, of the bedroom. So the re God, this is this is horrible. So um, the room the roommate then went to the kitchen where he saw Sylvester holding back the, the back of his head. Blood was pouring down the back of his neck and on his shirt, according to reports. The roommate helped Sylvester get his things to go to the hospital, but Canchola allegedly punched his boyfriend in the side of the face, causing him to fall to the to the floor, Canchola also threw glasses at Sylvester and the roommate as they left the apartment. Wow. Okay, so somebody called 911. Uh, so the college student called, also called 911 uh, to report he and, the, and Sylvester were fighting. He reportedly told the authorities the teen was bleeding from the back of his head and was unconscious. The police arrived at the scene around 5.30 a.m. and said Sylvester was taken back to the hospital where he later died. It's really sad. So... Canchola is currently in custody for for five hundred thousand dollars bond, and why is this news? <laughs> it's really sad. This well, it is news. I mean, it's two gay guys killing each, one of them, killing the other. Wow. I mean, it's it's like we've come this far and we ended up killing each other. Well, yeah, that's true. After all these these, um, I should say, victories. Victories. All the victories that we've been getting. And still, you know, but for one thing, they're, they're, they're young. 
and and so nineteen year, so nineteen and twenty year olds don't know any better don't know but know better to kill each other. Yeah. Like, no, that don't not, shit don't fly with me. That's right. I'm kidding. I, I, I'm just saying that you know, yeah, kids, some kids are really stupid, and that happens when they. And would you ma- So you're so you're saying this can, this can this can happen to anyone. This can happen to anyone. Yeah, it can you know? happen to anyone. But still, I mean, it's like two gay guys kill each other. Okay. Or well, they don't kill each other. One of them kills the other one. Yeah, it's really sad though. So yeah. Okay. Okay, on to the geek. Whoop, my screen. Okay. Our Star Trek style skin skin healing technology could be the end of chronic wounds. The ability to heal wounds is among the most appealing of all technologies imagined by science fiction. Perhaps the most famously, doctors in Star Trek were able to patch up cuts and burns by instantly regenerating their patient's skin using a kind of medical ray gun. The injured crew of the Enterprise can return to action almost immediately instead of spending much recovering. Such technology might seem like pure fantasy, as well as a useful plot device, but it might now be closer to reality than you think. A research group has just published work on the use of a small handheld ultrasonic emitter that accelerates tissue repair. This approach doesn't provide the instant fix of Star Trek, but we found that healing times can be reduced by 30%. This both increases comfort for the patient and shortens how long the wound is susceptible to infection. We have discovered that ultrasound treatments can reactivate dormant cells and therefore jumpstart the healing process. This is actually reminiscent of another science fiction archetype, the instant healing superpower seen in films and TV shows such as X-Men and Heroes. Mm. What the ultrasound treatment does is effectively turn back the clock and stimulate cells to perform the functions that they are capable of, but have forgotten over time because it is jump-starting natural processes. Such treatment is re- relatively risk-free, unlike many drug treatments that interfere with the chemical process of the body that can lead to side effects. Now, this would be awesome because um, a dermal, it's called a dermal regenerator. I remember now. Yeah. That's what they use in Star Trek Voyager, in... Uh, in um, Star Trek uh, Next Generation, or yeah, so you you wave it around your wound and it becomes. Well, I eventually see this happening because eventually we're going to be able to scan and figure out as we break down X, the DNA and figure out how to manipulate it and make it do what it's supposed to do, and then make it re- like these cells are saying they're making these cells do what they're supposed to do at a faster process. But most cells don't know how to do that, so they have to tell them to do that. So I think eventually the process might become even faster. So, and we have the Star Trek level. Yeah, makes me makes me wonder though. Well, what if this? Ca- what if it causes cancer or something? Because you know you're making it grow fast, making it do its job too fast. I don't know. So you're saying it's Coke? That's what you're saying. It's, it's a Diet Coke. Coke. It causes it's cancer. Yeah. Well, who knows? I mean, I'm I'm just being you know devil's advocate at some point. Yeah. Also under Geek, we have a new website um, to talk about this week. A new fetish community, pup411.com, um, was launched on Friday, July the 3rd. Chad, one of the co-founders, wants you to know about Pup411. We wanted to create a web page that was pup trainer handler friendly for everyone, male, female, trans, straight, bi, and to try to bring the pup community closer together. The website will feature webcam, chat rooms, social media page, blogs, training videos, and more. The website is up and running, but some construction is still going on. Please feel free to sign up and check us out. The site will be free for the first six months, and they encourage all all feedback. So if you're in the PUP uh, category, go check out PUP411.com. Are you sure it's not um, Buddy Bear or what's his name? Greg? Can't remember his name from Bear Four One One. It's not really related to that, is it? No, no. This is Pup Four One. This is a whole different guy, Chad. Okay, I was just wondering because, uh, you know, when you use Four One One in the uh, there's Bear Four One One, there's Gay Four One One. Well, maybe he didn't have that one copyrighted. Uh, that one that he didn't get it in time. But he didn't get that page in time. <laughs> yes, right. So anyway, uh, something came up also in P Town. Uh, they were giving out these flyers. It's a it's a fur app. F U R A P P dot com. I think it's a web based. I think it's a web based uh, application. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, fur app. Uh, web ba- uh, You know, mobile phone. Mobile phone based um, chat site. 
So it's another one of these, and yeah. another community to sign up. So uh, they had steps saying, I do this. You sign up, upload a picture, and upload a, upload a, a naughty picture, and uh, say hi to everyone, something like that. So it was an, it's, an, it's another chat site. Chat There's site. so many of them. Same with them. Anyway, okay, so let's go to Bizarre. <clears throat> I read this, and uh, I don't know. It's really sad, but at the same time, how could this be possible? I mean, it happened. Have you ever been, have you ever had a wedgie before? Yes. By your friends? Yes. Did it really hurt? Well, they weren't my friends, let me tell you that. You're not friends anymore? Mm-mm. Were you, how, how hurt were you? Did your balls go to the back of your, your ass? No, it wasn't that bad. But it used to be when we in middle school, they used to like to give wedgies. So. so it really just... Yeah, especially in gym out. class when it's easy to do. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So, man sentenced, sentenced to 30 years in prison for killing stepfather with a wedgie. On Thursday, an Oklahoma man who killed his stepfather with an atomic wedgie in 2013 was sentenced to 30 years in prison. So Brad Lee Davis, 35, pleaded guilty to first-degree manslaughter this May for knocking 58-year-old uh, Denver Lee uh, St. Clair uh, unconscious and pulling his underwear over his head, causing him to as- asphyxiate. Wow, okay. So he... he it's not be- see. It's not because of the wedgie, but he knocked him down and put the wedgie around him, so he couldn't breathe. Okay. So according to prosecutors, Saint Clair's head wounds would have been fatal if he hadn't died from the wedgie first. Oh, he did buy with the wedgie. When authorities questioned Davis, he said Saint Clair asked him to come over for the drinks. For drinks. The man began arguing, and Davis told officers that St. Clair came at him, and they began exchanging blows. Okay. Nice nice choice, choice of words. Davis told investigators that he hit St. Clair's head, causing him to lose, lose consciousness. Then Davis said he grabbed his pa- stepfather's underwear and gave him, a, gave him an atomic wedgie by pulling his underwear over his stepfather's head. I've never seen this before, but when he first looked at our victim seeing the waistband of his underwear around around his neck, wow, it's that big. So, this is not mutual combat, said the uh, district attorney at Thursday sentence uh, Thursday sentence hearing. It was not self defense; it was pure aggression. So, Judge John. Uh, Canavan Jr. said he would consider Davis's sentence at a review in 12 to 18 months. Interesting. So, people giving atomic wedgies. You can die. You can die from an atomic wedgie. Right. So, it's really because of fixation, but not because your balls were really... Well, no, they pulled the underwear in it, and apparently the underwear, he got it tight enough that the underwear come around and the last it caught up under his throat like this. Here, yeah. let me show you stand up. Okay. But I'm not wearing any underwear. Oh, can't do it then. Okay. So, but when you put your tea bags on, just grab them and pull them up over your head. So, ha- ha- have you experienced an atomic wedgie? No. So, how high did it go when they would give you a wedgie? They just grab my underwear and pull them up. That's it? Yeah. Okay. Was it an underwear or was it a jock strap? Uh, underwear. It's really underwear. Yeah. Were those tidy whities or yeah, bikini tidy whities? Tidy whities. It was back when I was a kid. That's okay. all they had was tidy whities. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Ray wears tidy whities. No, he, not anymore, right? Not anymore, no. You're all, all commando right now, right? Commando. No. Okay, okay. Just checking. Okay, so, um, like I said, um, it's going to be August 1st, our anniversary, and uh, we've got something planned next week. And like I said, we're, we have so many videos. We're about... Uh, Two or three more videos. One, one's gonna be one's gonna go to Asians and Bears. One's gonna be on the Bear Podcast feed on Facebook. So you guys will watch for it. Um, yeah, like I said, we're supporting a Bear City Three. They're doing an Indiegogo campaign, so we'll put the links on the website for you guys to donate, so you could watch the third. And we don't know if it's the last. According, to, it could be. It could it could go on. <laughs> we're not talking about the last epi- last installment. It all depends on if they get the funding. Yeah, it depends on the funding, yeah. Look at the bears, uh, where the bears are. They're on their fourth season, and the fourth season was was um, uh, funded also by, uh, Go- what do they use? Indiegogo? Kickstarter. They use Kickstarter. Mm-hmm. But there are many, there are many of these Kickstarter type um, mm-hmm. sites, and one of those, Indiegogo and uh, Bear City. 
they're in their, the last time I saw it was about 170,000 uh, 70, and their goal is in about uh, 20 more days. So I think the goal is, how much? I don't know. Uh, Indiegogo uh, Bear City 3. Let's see what they have. The Indiegogo says they have $84,000 now and their goal is 200000 So they still have 17 days to go. So we'll do a big campaign for them. Yeah. It's good. I'm really rooting for this because I'm really rooting for this because one of the actors there is one of my favorites. His name is Tim Hooper. The Hoop. And um, yeah, he's a very hot daddy bear. I'm just saying. Oh, okay. Very, very deep I'll take southern your, I'll take your word for okay. it. All right. Very deep southern accent. He used to be a fire chief uh, in one of the uh, uh, West West Texas cities. I can't remember which one. But yeah, it's very, I can't remember if it was really West Texas. But yeah, he's got a very heavy Texan accent, so, or southern accent. Anyway, okay, so let's close the show. <laughs> uh, but before we go, what, what are we doing this week? Are you doing Q Fest or something? Uh, no, I doubt it. No, we're not going to do q I'd like to, but I don't have any money. What's so. Q-Fest anyway? Huh? It's like a concert? It's, or no, it's a the festival? Gay and Lesbian Film Festival. Oh, that's right. Festival. It's, a, it's a film festival. I remember now. Yeah, I did see that there are some films that are showing next, but I got this some coming week. I free tickets Friday night to go to the Comic Palooza, the Comic Con thing here in Houston. Comic Palooza? Not Comic Palooza. It's a comic. It's Space City Comic Space City Comics. Comic-Con. Space City Comics. So I ain't too sure about it. I was looking at the thing because I just got free tickets for Friday and... So how do you it, get them? You go online? Uh, well, yeah, you can go buy tickets for the whole weekend or whatever you want to do. But Is it going to be fun? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to see. It's not a Comic-Con, and it's not the one that happens over Memorial Day weekend. So I'm wondering if this is one of those things where they drive you, and it's just all about spending money. Spending money, people selling comics. Comics, and they got a bunch of stars there, and you, it's like 50 or 60 bucks to have your picture taken with them. It costs that much now? What about yes. What happened to $20? $20 for a signed picture. Bro, they gotta make a dollar. Uh, I don't remember what's his name. Because uh, Dylan Sprayberry is gonna be there from Teen Wolf. And so I, that's where you're going. Well, no, but they're having a panel on Teen Wolf at three o'clock, which is one of the two panels I have that day, and that's it on Friday. But later on that night, you, there's a photo opportunity with him, and it was like fifty bucks to have your picture made with him and shit. And I was just like, what? Sixty dollars? That's crazy. It's cheaper to kidnap him. I mean, uh, mm-hmm. catch him. Outside the come come. Oh, okay. Anyway, so we'll see. If I got time, I have some chores to do. I have after coming back from from uh, from P Town, I have to do some cleaning up. <laughs> the mess. You could, you're not seeing this in the camera right now, but it's a messy right now. <laughs> I, I have to fix and and my so my my uh, herbs died. I have to replace them at some point. Yes. <laughs> not that kind of. Okay, so I guess, I guess that's it, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for watching or listening. If you want to contact us, send your emails to show at bearpodcast.com. Or if you want to call us and wish us a happy, are you sure about the 10th anniversary? It's time. 10th, 10th anniversary. anniversary. Um, you can call us at 206-222-2327. That's 206-222-BEAR. Give us a call and leave us a voicemail and t- tell us what you think about the show. Yes. And um, also, yeah, if you want to call us about the 10th anniversary, that'd be great. And you can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter and subscribe via iTunes, Vimeo, and YouTube. You can listen to the show on Ra- uh, Bear Radio Network and the um, uh, and Stitcher Radio. And um, go, to, go to the official website at bearpodcast.com. Thank you, everyone, for watching or listening. And we'll catch you guys on the next episode of Bear Podcast. Many wolves and many hugs. Wolf, what a bear. Podcast your ass. Wolf, what a bear.